Good evening, Dr. Chomdula. How are you? Good evening, Onye and staff. I'm fine, thank you. Hope you too. I hear you very well. Hope you can hear me. All right, we can. Yes, uh, we can hear you very well. All right, um, we have a whole lot of questions for you, but let's find out. We hear, or we've gotten reports that there is a special outreach you are heading, you are in charge of. And I'm sure that um, all Amazonians would want to also have that information on their fingertips. Could you briefly um, be forth? with some of the information about that particular reach out yes thank you Onye. first of all special greetings to our ambazonian restoration forces and uh, all those of on home front bearing the brunt of um, our oppressors the killers from the republic so um our revolution for independence for Amazonia is in full gear. And after that uh, first COVID break of over two years, where there were hardly any demonstrations and um, any outings, um, we saw it fit that, um, um, interim government saw it fit that an event be organized. It's been organized by the Depart Directorate of Youth, Sport and Cultural Affairs, headed by the able uh, Joe Bashi um and it will be organized here in uh berlin germany the weekend of second to the fourth of june the main day will be on the third of june saturday it will be mainly sporting activities uh, with various ambazonian and non-ambazonian groups um, here in germany playing against each other there will be some cultural uh, many cultural activities traditional dances, and uh, there will be um, a fundraising gala at the end of the day. And uh, we are still contemplating um, having some short uh, demonstration uh, so as to highlight our plight to the world. Uh, this, um, it is called Europe Mobilizing for 1st October 2023. It is just um, uh, the beginning of activities after um, the COVID uh, break uh, so that uh, we don't get um, used to not having um, um, uh, demonstrations and activities to highlight our plight. The world has to know again um, and every day what is happening, that we from Southern Cameroons, Ambazonia, the independence that was promised us 61 years ago, that was voted upon uh, 64 to 22 on 21st April 1961 and granted us on 1st October 1961 and treacherously taken away by France, La Republic, UK and the connivance of then world powers. That that independence has been restored on 1st October 2017 and we are in full gear wanting that independence to be recognized by the powers that be. And that is exactly what we are going to Berlin to tell people, uh, to tell the world at large. So we are inviting everybody in Germany, in Europe, and everybody wherever you are, who can make it to join us from the 2nd to the 4th of June in Berlin to kickstart this um, uh, celebration. Uh, this activity that will be a full uh, taste of what will be awaiting us on 1st October 2023. Let's not forget this is the year of acceleration as declared by our President, uh, His Excellency Samuel Komesako, and our restoration forces are showing us, uh, are getting, um, uh, giving the enemy, our oppressors, uh, a run for their money day by day and we out here in the diaspora should be doing our part supporting the revolution paying our drafts uh, organizing events and telling everybody we know starting with our neighbors our friends and colleagues that ambazonia is soon to be the 55th the newest nation 
in Africa, in uh, the world. And we are up to that task. We are ethically viable. We have a structure. We have three arms of government that are functioning. And uh, we have a focused uh, president at the helm. And we have institutions that are being respected. We have gone from strong individuals and strong uh, groups to strong institutions that are being respected. And we are a state uh, in exile and we will touch the ground running in the words of former president uh, Sisiko, who was abducted by the killers in uh, our killers in Yaoundé and is still uh, there. And um, so that is what, in a nutshell, what we are going to, to, to do in uh, Berlin to tell um, uh, the world to kickstart activities after COVID as a foretaste for 1st October 2023, our Independence uh, Day. Dr. Chom would want to find out. Dr. Chom, you would um, agree with me that almost every month right now or so far, we've been having the draft, which is about raising money. You know, when we talked about the reach out, um, I was excited. You know, you began gradually, you know, there's meet and greet, there is um, fun, there is the gala, and then there's fundraising. Um, I'm sure that Amazonians in the diaspora, they've been contributing. They would want to have more reasons why they should contribute in this particular reach out you know so i would want you to throw more light there because that is a very uh, significant point knowing that people sometimes when they hear of gatherings they get scared of funds so you might want to throw more light there probably emphasizing that the fund reason is not really the main reason or is the main reason whichever it is would love you to throw more light there well, thank you. Thank you, Onye. We value every contribution made by every single 8 million Ambazonians, uh, especially those of us, the 2 million Ambazonians in the diaspora, seeing the commitment of the few that are there about uh, uh, what is true, what is just, what is real. Um, we value every contribution, not only monetary contribution, but whatever contribution you can make, we know there are people who um, are not financially uh, up to the task. There are people who uh, are living from hand to mouth. There are people who uh, are receiving social aid and all that. That should not in any way um, hinder your um, coming to contribute to our revolution with your ideas, with your organizational talents, and if need be with uh, the money that um, you are called upon uh, to donate. So we know that people are sacrificing paying their drafts and um, um, uh, paying their county and LGA contributions and for ABC, Amber TV and all other expenses. The main reason for us uh, meeting is to highlight our plight to the world, to showcase our culture, our tradition um, uh, to the world and to make the world know we are uh, a nation, we were a nation, and we are a nation in um, um, a government in exile, and uh, <clears throat> with what other extra support you can give that you give it at that uh, conference. So um, it is not uh, so much of uh, a big fundraising event where we say we have a big target uh, to meet, but first of all, we want to kickstart activities again after the, this COVID break. And uh, nobody should be afraid to come and say, uh, oh yeah, it's a fundraising something. I don't have much in my pocket. Your $2, your $3, your $10, and we don't care, even your $1,000 will be enough, um, whatever you can give. But first of all, bring yourself there, bring others with you, and let us uh, make a loud noise and let the world know uh, a civil war is not a war is not only happening in Ukraine between Ukraine and Russia. We have a La Republic killers killing us, Southern Cameroonians, Ambazonians, and um, we want to highlight it again to the world, make the world know. Uh, <clears throat> people will be surprised to know that a few years back, like two and a half years back, the German Parliament 
after all our uh, pressings and uh, all our demonstrations and meeting the authorities, they debated our case in the parliament. And well, they ended up saying, well, there was not much uh, they can do to remedy the situation. And guess who brought that uh, topic up? It was the opposition at the time who are now in government. But today they don't want to, they don't, they seem not to know anything about um, what they talked about two to three years ago and all what they talk about and people that send weapons to you are the Ukrainians. So we are somehow uh, a bit forgotten, not a bit, really forgotten. There is a crisis going on back home. It's civil war with over 50,000 of our people killed, um, uh, women and children raped and maimed and tortured, uh, thousands languishing in uh, concentration camps they call jails in La Republique and hundreds of thousands of refugees uh, out there. So uh, that is what is, uh, has been happening since over six years. And we want to make the world know that that is our main objectives, first of all. And then fundraising is coming as an aside uh, to that. So that's what I can say to it.